welcome to another Teacher's Corner. I'm Teacher Kirby and the topic today is going to be the skill Sensor Analysis. Sensor Analysis is available on all science ships. Okay, Usually you know you have a science ship because it has a secondary deflector as you can see right here. I'm using for this tutorial the Scryer which I've just finished leveling up. Okay, So you'll notice it has sensor analysis. Sensor analysis looks like kind of an hourglass shape on your thing. Now this skill or this ability is actually quite confusing to a few people. This topic was actually suggested just last night at the time of this recording by Steve, a member of the STO Continuum TeamSpeak. Every once in a while, yes, you do get fast turnaround on these suggestions. All right, so sensor analysis, if you mouse over it, has the ability, if you look, it's, it's kind of a special snowflake in a few ways. It targets anything alive except yourself. That means you can target friends or you can target foes or enemies. Okay, if you target an enemy, it gives a 5% bonus damage and power drain per stack and it does stack up to six times. It also disables your enemy's ability to cloak while it's active. If you put it on an ally it gives plus bonus healing on targeted ally per stack and of course up to six stacks. It also has two enemies a 50% reduction to all incoming heals when the debuff reaches six stacks. Okay, now a lot of people go, oh, okay, I'll put this on my spam bar or my keybind bar. No, you do not want to do that. Okay, in order for the stacks to build, you have to leave it activated. This is a toggle ability, and I'll show you what that means. I'm going to go into Japori. I'm actually not going to fight anything, I'm just going in so I have some enemies and some allies in here. Okay, now what we mean by toggle ability is that you turn it on and you turn it off. It's an ability that you turn it on and it stays on until you turn it off. And I'm getting close. Okay, let's go with this guy since he's got a lot of health here. Alright, now you see it's lit up now. Now, if I turn it on, and you can see the Garumba now has stacks building. Now if I hit it again, all of a sudden that debuff is gone. Okay, I have to hit it and leave it in order for those stacks to build. He now has two stacks, now has three stacks, and you can see he's building stacks and the second I hit it again or a second time those stacks all disappear and as you can see that little flag is gone. Now if I put it on my friend here this Tavaro Light Warbird hopefully get it before it actually dies there we go let's put a little heal on him there we go all right Poor thing is dying all over the place, but has not blown up yet. There we go. And as you can see, he now has six stacks of sensor analysis on him. But if I toggle that off, there you go. And toggle back on, there it goes. And it's up here. Here's our little flag. And But if I toggle that off, so if you put it on your spam bar, every time you push it, it toggles on or toggles off. If you don't let it build the stacks, it's not going to have a whole lot of effect. Okay, What you want to do is turn it on and leave it. Now the other thing here is that when your target, whichever target it is, dies, you have to reapply it. Now if I go and I target something else, like say this over here, 
this does not have sensor analysis, but if I go back and I go back, you notice there's a little animation here. My sensor analysis is still applied to my original target. I can target anything else and that sensor analysis will still remain on my original target until it dies. Okay, you'll notice this arrow, this is pointing to the target of my analysis. I can go over this way. Notice the arrow still points towards my Garumba Heavy Destroyer or Siege Destroyer because that is the target of my analysis. Okay, it will remain until I either toggle it off or until that target dies. Okay, so very handy, very useful. You can target something and then change that you want to build up a debuff on and then change targets to maybe a smaller enemy. Okay. This is most useful on big targets that will be alive for a while so you have time to build the stacks. But you do want this to be manually activated. Alright. So that is sensor analysis, at least an introduction to sensor analysis. You can hear the discussion. Let me exit out so I'm not... There we go. So you can hear the discussion of Teacher's Corner live on the Pilot Review Show every Saturday night at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. I look forward to seeing you there.